When it comes to winter, I think it's fair to say that Mainers are considered die hard. But there's one group here in Maine that may take it a step further. Those that live on islands during a big nor'easter. Have a good day. Just another morning on the bay for these Long Islanders. It's their school bus. It's their normal routine. Many on the island get ready to get out on their boats to get to work. Winter is just another season for folks who live on the islands in Casco Bay. Gather in place for an hour, eight to nine, every, every morning. We straighten the world out. I don't know for the better, but we straighten it out anyway. No matter how bad the winter is or how rough the ferry ride is, it's home. It's a very comfortable, serene place. There's a lot to do outdoors. Like most young Mainers, the outside, especially the snow, becomes their playground, but even more so. Some days it's like so snowy that we can cross-country ski to school, and then we can just like, there's sometimes there's an after-school program where you can like ski to school, and you can just ski out. 14 students K through five come to their tiny island school. Marcy Train is their teacher. She says it's been an amazing experience. Students are so interested in their community. There have been times when I've thought it would be easier to teach in town just because um, it's a small place to work and live. But to be able to use the whole island as my classroom, there's nothing better than that. And we have a great supportive community. Once they reach middle school age, these students have to commute on the ferry to school in Portland. Students say it's tough to make plans with friends in town, but there's plenty to do on the island. Here on Long Island, there's about 230 people that live here during the winter time and all year round, and it may seem a little ways away to everything else, but everyone here takes care of one another. When one person's missing something, they don't need to go into town, they go to their neighbors. There's one gas pump, only open certain days and hours. We've got a new community center and we've got some potluck dinners where people get together and eat and communicate, and then this coffee hour right now is a lot of fun. There are storms that people talk about. The windstorm on Patriot's Day, the ice storm of 98. Probably the blizzard of 78 and, and, and the storm before it. I mean, you can still go up into the woods and see logs that were pushed, you know, far, far up into the woods. In 2014, the brutally cold winter actually froze up parts of the bay, making it tough for boaters and the ferry. But when the power goes out and the big storms make it tough, they're ready. Oh, you make sure you have an extra can of gas or kerosene or candles or uh, you know a couple of cans of beans or something on hand if you need to you know uh, cook something up. As a community, they make it through whatever Mother Nature lashes at them. If you're gonna live in Maine in the winter, you're gonna learn how to play in Maine in the winter, even if it is on the island. You may wonder about emergency services here on the islands during the winter. Well, on Long Island, they train year-round with their search and rescue boat. They say they can get somebody in need to the hospital in Falmouth in 25 minutes.